God, on this great day, Mother's Day, it's all about you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. And oh God, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. All of you. None of me. Touch. Let your word go forth. Let it return not void. Use this vessel. Use it till there's nothing left of it. Hallelujah. All the glory belongs to you. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. God is so great. It's an honor to have all of you all in our midst. All the visitors that are here to come to be with your mothers. What an honor. What an honor. What an honor to honor your mothers and to realize it's all about you, Lord. And we we'll, won't be with we'll for you long, but if you would turn with me to John chapter 19 we're going to read a few verses of scripture 19 verse 25 through 27 John 19 verse 25 through 27 amen Amen. If you can and if you will, stand for the reading of his word. It's our custom in our sanctuary. God is so great. John 19, verse 25 through 27. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopath, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son, then said he to the disciples, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Behold thy mother. Behold thy mother. God, first of all, we, we, we thank and we praise God for his goodness and first mothers should be saluted in their steadfast love and we come and we salute you today in the love of the mothers and, and secondly mothers should be saluted for their tremendous impact that they have had and third and finally mothers should be saluted because where they are that is where home is God is great, and he is greatly to be praised, honoring mothers, and, and we honor mothers. How awesome it is. Mary, the mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mary witnessed the crucifixion from the foot of the cross. Can you even imagine how she must have felt? Can you even imagine what she was going through? And Jesus turns to John and, and says, take care of her. And looks at his mother and said, let him stand in my place. 
right there in the midst. Uh, she stayed there. Uh, she had a plea uh, uh, before the king uh, mm, that they would remove her son from this place. Uh, uh, but then she stayed there. Uh, and one day, uh, uh, the decree finally came through. Uh, and they picked up her son. Uh, uh, the bones were bleached white. Uh, and there's nothing left but the bones. Uh, uh, but when they picked him up, uh, uh, the mother was still there. Uh, uh, she said, I'm not leaving. Uh, I'm not forsaking my son. Uh, and I can see Mary uh, uh, standing at the foot of the cross. Uh, uh, and the Lord and Savior, uh, uh, the Savior that we had, uh, mm, my God, uh, uh, going through what he's going through uh, and got to deal with what he's got to deal with, uh, the sins of the world, uh, uh, this on him, uh, and his back, uh, Beaten, huh, and his flesh exposed. Huh. Mm, my God, huh, when they beat him huh, and they crucified him, huh, oh, she was right there. Huh. She never left a huh, forsake a son, huh, but she was right there all the time. Huh. Mothers can always huh, mm, see the good huh, when it's coming. Huh. She always see the good huh, when it's just around the corner. Huh. Mm, they keep on encouraging. Huh. They keep on encouraging us. Huh. Oh, but when to buy my pardon and empty grace there to prove my Savior's name. 